Former Miss America and Harvard Law graduate Kara Mund is gaining statewide and national attention for being a disruptor in this year's North Dakota U.S. House race. Josh Menny was at Kara Mund's last signature collection before turning in her petition to the Secretary of State on Tuesday. If you spend just a short time around Kara Mund on the campaign trail, you'll soon realize that her celebrity precedes her. Hi. Scott. Thank you Glad so much you. for coming. A steady stream of supporters signed her petition in Bismarck on Thursday. Tuesday, when I turn it in, I'll be close to 2,000. So for every one they throw out, I have a backup. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Two debates are now set, providing the three House candidates the opportunity to sit down and wrangle over the issues. And from the get-go, Munn says the Supreme Court's ruling to take away the constitutional right to abortion drove her to get into the race. This is of rape that women have access to. Their their own reproductive health, same with incest, same with the life of the mother. In August, KX News spoke with Congressman Kelly Armstrong about abortion. He told us, My number one goal is to effectuate policy that has less abortions tomorrow than there were yesterday. Munn says Armstrong's answer is not good enough. Criminalizing doctors is something I'm highly against, and so I want to know. I want to know his thoughts more than just I am I'm anti choice. Recently, Mund has been getting heat for not being clear on which party she would caucus with. She says she was going to caucus with Republicans to represent the majority of North Dakotans, but things recently got complicated. But when the party's chairman, uh, Perry Schaefer, said on uh, August 24th that I will not be allowed to step on stage as a Republican for the next six years, I don't really think I have a choice in who I caucus with. Um, so the ball is now in the Republicans' court. They're going to have this mechanism that keeps people out. They need to be willing to lift it before, before I would win. Munn says she plans to confront Congressman Armstrong on his voting record. Some of those issues include Armstrong's vote against capping expensive insulin prices and his vote against the federal infrastructure package, which will go toward fixing North Dakota's roads and bridges. Mund wants to force her competitors to take a stance on controversial issues, like Fu Fang and Grand Forks and former AG Wayne Stencham's deleted emails. Knowing you know, what their thoughts are, where they are standing on the issues, but then also that they're willing to come forth and, and state those opinions. Because high name recognition isn't going to stop her from being known even more. For North Dakotans to be able to see your future leader who's going to be in Congress as your sole representative. Um. For KX News, I'm Josh Many. Mund's deadline to turn in 1,000 acceptable signatures to the Secretary, Secretary of State is this Tuesday, September 6th at 4 p.m. And the GOP Chairman Perry Schaefer also suspended Representative Rick Becker from the Republican Party for running as an independent in the U.S. Senate race.